welcome to St. Leonard's Church in Lexton for our online crib service. Now we're really sorry that we can't host everybody here and we can't sing together here, but we hope that you're entering into the spirit of it at home and perhaps that you are dressed up as an important character uh, from the story of Jesus' birth. It doesn't matter how old or young you are, if you can dress up as something, it's a good thing to do. And so, we have come together in the presence of God to rejoice in the gift of Jesus to us as the light of the world. To hear and receive the story of the coming of Christ and to offer God our thanksgiving in prayer and song. Christ has brought us out of darkness to live in his marvellous light. Long ago, about 2,000 years, when King Herod ruled a land called Judea, God sent the angel Gabriel to a young woman named Mary who lived in Nazareth. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, Greetings, God has blessed you and is with you. Mary was very surprised by this and wondered what the angel meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, God has a plan for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a baby boy and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son and his kingdom will never end. Though Mary was very afraid, she trusted God and said, Here I am, God, your servant. At this time, a mighty emperor wanted to know exactly who lived in all his lands. So everyone returned to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. Together, Mary and Joseph went from Nazareth to the town of Bethlehem. Bethlehem was where the great King David had been born many, many years before. Joseph went there because he was descended from David. Mary was pregnant, and while they were there in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them to stay at the inn.
In the hills and fields outside Bethlehem, shepherds looked after their sheep through the long night. As the new day began, an angel suddenly appeared before them, and the glory of God shone around them. The shepherds were very, very scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you and everyone. Today in Bethlehem, a saviour has been born for you. You will find the baby lying in a manger. Then many more angels appeared, lighting up the sky. The shepherds heard them praising God, singing, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. When the angels had gone, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem to see what has happened. So they travelled to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph. The baby Jesus was lying in a manger as they had been told. When they saw him, they told everyone what the angel had said and they were all astonished. Mary remembered all of these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back, singing praises to God for all that they had heard and seen, because it had been just as the angel had told them. men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the newborn king? They saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was worried, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. He called together all his experts and asked, Where will the Messiah be born? They told him that a prophet had said he would be born in Bethlehem. Herod secretly met with the visitors from the east to find out what they knew and sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and look carefully for the child. When you find him, let me know, so that I too may go and worship him. So they left, and on their way they saw the same star, and were overjoyed. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. 
They went into the house, and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They gave him their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. God warned them in a dream not to return to Herod, so they went back home another way. blessing for our crib. God, our Father, at Christmas your Son Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib which we have prepared to celebrate his birth. May all who see it be filled in faith and love and be given the abundant life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns forever. Amen. And so we come to a time of prayer. Jesus arrived as a tiny baby, laid in a manger. He needed the help of Mary and Joseph to survive. We pray that we may be at loving and caring as Mary and Joseph to all the mothers in need in our world. Lord. The shepherds came to see Jesus and were full of joy. Help us to share God news, good news and joy. We also pray for those who feel sad at Christmas and those who are ill or worried. May they know the peace and love of the Christ children in their hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus came to bring light and peace to all people. We pray for these places in the world where there is darkness or fear. Help us to work for peace and to shine the light of Christ into the world. Lord, in your mercy. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
a special prayer for Christmas. Almighty God, as we prepare with joy to celebrate the gift of the Christ child, embrace the earth with your glory and be for us a living hope. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the joy of the angels, the excitement of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the faithfulness of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Each Christmas, St Leonard supports a number of charities, and we know that this is important to those who join us to worship. This year we're not able to make collections in person, but there is still a way to give. Our PCC, the Church Council, has chosen to support the following charities. Beacon House, a charity helping homeless people in Colchester. Essex Integration, a Colchester charity that helps refugees and asylum seekers. The Sheepfold Centre, charity based in Bethlehem that supports children and young people with disabilities. Colchester Cap Debt Centre, a charity that supports those who are burdened with debt or struggling on a low income. And St Leonard's Church itself, which serves, of course, the people of Lexton. Find out about these charities through the links on screen. 2020 has been a tough year for all charities, of course. So if you'd like to give, please make a donation to St Leonard's PCC. The PCC will then donate to those charities, giving them an equal share. To give, scan the QR code on screen now or go to tiny.cc forward slash KW46TZ. That's a bit of a mouthful, so you can see the link on screen and also find it in the description of this video. Thank you.